Now we will walk you through installing your GeoCoupon Commander software. Now that you have set up your database, your SQL database, as shown in the previous video, I want to show you how in cPanel to upload your software. You don't even need to use your FTP account. What we want to do is go into our cPanel, and your cPanel may be set up just a little bit differently. As you can see, I can drag and drop these panels as I need, and I have mine set up uh, the way I use them. But you want to find your Files panel, go into File Manager, and you want to find the document route for the URL that you want to upload to. I will upload this into MyCouponAd.com. Now that I'm in the Control Panel, the File Manager, I want to upload my file and I'm going to upload the entire zip file. Most of your C panels are set up this way to upload your entire zip file. I will come down to my zip file, coupon 1.4.17 zip. My zip file is uploading. Leave all your permissions set to 644. Now that that has completed, I will close this out. Now you will need to refresh your file manager. Just click reload and you can see the zip file uploaded here. Now what I want to do is I want to be able to extract. I can click on this and just come up here to where it says extract. It asks me where I want to extract it to. I'm going to extract it right here into my public underscore HTML, mycouponad.com and click extract files. And now that the files are extracted, I'm going to click close. Once again, I'm going to click Reload so that I can see. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just change this name. You can do this one of two ways. You can move this into a different file. But the easiest thing to do is just come in here, click Rename, take off this 1417, and let's just leave the coupon, Rename File, and now that's been renamed. Okay, now we're going to come over to that file. It's mycouponad.com, and we're going to just put the coupon in there because that's the extension, and click Enter. It's going to say that they're coming to the database. Now we have to attach the database to this file. So we're going to say Accept the Terms, Proceed to Next Step, Host Name. For most, this is going to be local host. If it's not, check with your uh, hosting company to make sure that that's the host name for your database. Uh, in this instance for HostGator it's localhost. Username will be the username that you selected for your database. Mine is coupon2. Put in your password and the database name and I keep that the same just as was taught in the video and that's coupon2. <clears throat> now we want to check the connection. We have a good connection we're going to say next. Now we're going to add the personal information. This is the data you received when you signed up for your download. Your name, your email address is the email address that you used when you purchased the program. The password is the password that they sent you. Click next. And now you just want to add the application settings. This is going to be your title. This will be the title that will be seen in your upper toolbar. We'll just say My Mobile Coupons. Your footer text will be seen in the footer of the program. I just will put MyCouponAd.com. And you can upload a logo now if you've got the white label and you can uh, upload that now and or you can just go on to Next and you can change that into Settings. And we, you will be able to see how to do that in the next video. Go to Next. You're going to click here to log in. This is going to come up and it's going to say, please delete install directory to run application. We want to go back to our cPanel file manager. We're going to open up coupon. We're going to come in and we are going to delete this install file. It's the folder that says install. Right click on that and just click delete or you can also delete it from here. It says are you sure you want to delete this file? Yes, delete the file. 
We're going to come back over. I'm just going to type in mycouponad.com forward slash mycoupon. And you can see that the coupon system admin site has came in. And that is how you install your software. Make sure you follow these steps exactly. Make sure that you put the right information in. Make sure that you uninstall, that you delete the install folder once you are completed in order to get to this page. Just a quick note on closing. If you have bought the multi-platform license, you must create a new database for each install. Don't forget, you must create a new database for each install. We want to thank you for watching this training on the GeoCoupon Commander installing your software.